Hey, have you ever watched a cooking show and saw something that you you really wanted to try at home but didn't know if you could? Well, that, that kind of happened to me. I was watching Bobby Flay, and one night he was cooking eggplant parmesan. And I thought, well, I, I'll try that. I went to foodnetwork.com and actually obtained the, the recipe for how to make eggplant parmesan. Today I'm going to try to teach you the five primary steps in the preparation of eggplant parmesan. These steps being the sauce, your eggplant, your cheese, your herbs, the layering and the final preparation. In your sauce, what I like to do with the sauce is begin by heating up some olive oil in a bowl. Inside, the, once the oil gets heat, gets heated up, I like to add chopped garlic and onions. The onions and garlic you'll cook until they get translucent, which means a little clear. Once, the, once they're clear, I add tomato sauce, tomato puree, and also tomato paste. These, you can add different amounts of these depending on how much you would like to cook. I like to cook a large amount and then freeze it for later. The sauce, you let it cook for a while, add in some herbs. I use dry herbs for my sauce. You let it cook throughout the day. Uh, use mainly Italian style herbs. Also, I like to add a little bit of sugar into my sauce. That way it takes away a little bit of the acidity and also adds, enhances the flavor of that sauce. The eggplants are, are also something that's very important in eggplant parmesan. And the way that I like to prepare those is by washing the eggplant thoroughly. For this recipe, it takes approximately two to three medium eggplants. The eggplants, what you'll do is you'll slice off the ends of the eggplant. And then from there, you'll make approximately, Bobby Flay likes to use 18 slices that are approximately half inch thick. I like to cut my eggplant a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, so that it actually adds a little bit more crispness to the eggplant parmesan when it's fresh. ChefClaudio.com recommends that you take and you soak your eggplant in a wash made with water and salt to help remove the bitterness. You can even soak it overnight and helps make it tender as well. Your eggplant, after you let it soak, you'll take and you'll flour it on each side, knocking off the excess. Take and go through an egg wash with the eggplant and then into your breadcrumbs. Your breadcrumbs can either be store-bought or handmade. I prefer store-bought just because it's a, it's a lot easier to, to get the store-bought and then you also can get them with the added herbs for a little bit of extra flavor. Your eggplant you'll take and you will fry them on both sides until golden brown. And after you, you fry your eggplant, you will place it on a baking sheet with some paper towels out to drain the grease off of it. That way that will stay crisp and maintain that, the, the texture that you're looking for. And also I sprinkle a little bit of salt to add a little bit of flavor. Once you have at least 18 pieces of eggplant, you need to go ahead and prepare your cheeses. The cheeses for this recipe are Pecorino Romano, Fontina, grated mozzarella, and fresh mozzarella, which will be sliced thinly. The cheeses, all three of the other cheeses will be grated and will be added in a second. The herb that mainly we'll be using, aside from the sauce, is a fresh basil. The fresh basil, you'll wash it lightly, remove it from the stem, and chop it very finely so that you can mix it in with your cheeses. Now for the layering. The layering on the eggplant parmesan is very important because it adds the different layers of flavor, and it, it really enhances your meal. You'll start off on the bottom of your baker, you'll add a layer of sauce. On top of that sauce, one layer of eggplant, another layer of sauce on top of that eggplant, and then your three grated cheeses, which are the Pecorino Romano, the Fontina, and the Mozzarella. Add a little bit of the freshly chopped basil, and then repeat it. You'll start, you'll have some eggplant. Uh, here is a, an example of how the eggplant should look. This one has been sitting for a couple days, so it's a little flimsy. A proper eggplant will be nice and, and firm and it's kind of crispy when you take a bite of it. You'll continue your layers till you get the desired number of layers. I like three or four layers. Make sure you don't go too tall or it will boil over when you're cooking it. 
The top layer you'll, you'll finish with a thin layer of sauce. You'll add the sliced mozzarella on top, laying it across it, and then the remaining Pecorino Romano will go on, on top as well. Bake this in an oven that's been preheated to 350 degrees for approximately 30 minutes or until the mozzarella is, has a golden brown look on the top of it. The eggplant parmesan, I hope that you and your family will find that it was as enjoyable, that I hope that it's as enjoyable to you and your family as it was to me and my family when we were able to enjoy it. And all this can be accomplished through the basic steps of preparing eggplant parmesan, which are your sauce, your eggplant, cheese selection, herbs, and then finally the final preparation, which is the layering and the cooking.